Hi everyone, today let's look at a situation where we are on the bottom of the turtle position, our partner is on the top, and we're able to roll them through using Kimura. So your partner is in the top position here, and remember that when you're, whenever you're behind somebody, so just come down here for a second, whenever you're behind somebody in turtle position, there are two places, two things your hands can be doing. One is your hands can be locked, the other is your hands can be open. And depending on what the goal is, uh, for you being behind them, your hands will either be locked, for instance, if we're trying to attack the back head and arm and we're looking to roll our partner, we're looking to secure position in order to be able to work for strangles, that's when our hands will be locked. Our hands can also be locked in a body lock, down lower by our partner behind their armpits, which would serve to control their hips a little bit more, especially if we're concerned that they're going to stand up. Open hands gives you freedom of movement if you're on the top. So your hands can switch positions much more easily, obviously, if they're unlocked. And also, it tends to be helpful, especially if you're worried that your partner is going to stand up, to have your hands open so that you can transition from upper body control here. If he puts his hands on the floor and takes his elbows off the mat here and starts to stand up, we can switch our hands, we can make adjustments down in the legs. So having locked hands and unlocked hands, they each have different virtues. We're gonna look at a situation where our partner does not have locked hands, so this is not the back hand and arm position, or the seatbelt position. This is one where your partner has an arm around your bicep and an arm around your waist, usually called the tight waist here, so or the seatbelt. So he's got a long arm here. Now, whenever we're underneath, we're always monitoring what our partner's head side arm is doing, the choking arm. As a general rule of thumb, we like to keep our chin in and our head down rather than our head up to look around and see what's going on. And we have a hand, this close hand here. This one is usually monitoring. It's holding our neck and creating a bird's beak situation where our chin is down. Or we have the opposite hand, also a good strategy to monitor in case that hand does come in looking for the neck. You have a ready grip and you're prepared to take your partner's hand and keep it down. Now, there are rolling escapes and defenses from here, but sometimes if our partner has, especially when they have a long arm here, this is a nice opportunity for Kimura. So when we see this arm, this elbow deep, we're going to take our outside arm we're going to wrap and we're going to trap our partner's elbow here. We're going to straighten our inside leg and then we're going to drop our outside shoulder onto the mat. When you do this, don't be directly next to your partner. You're going to create a little bit of an angle by moving your butt away from your partner. And then from here, we're going to straighten our inside leg. We're just going to put our shoulder on the floor. Now, with your back to your partner, you are a little bit vulnerable, so you don't want to stay here for very long. And one of the things that we can do when, you're, when we're down in this position to make the job a little easier is to bring our hips up. So when our hips come up, we put weight on our shoulder and that's going to help pin our partner's arm. We're going to lock the figure four Kimura right from here. Then with our weight on our shoulder, we're going to take our hips onto our partner's body. So the hips go up onto our partner's body and we're going to bring our bottom leg through first so that we can pivot and land in the top position here. Now we have the ability to switch our base. So look how the knees turn to the floor. Then they turn to our partner's head. We can step up over the head, bring our partner's shoulder up off the mat. And then we have a good strong finish for the Kimura. So our partner is here off to the side. They have a deep grip. If your partner has a shallow grip and the elbow is not available to you, then you won't be able to hit Kimura. There are other good things you can do. But Kimura is not an option. So this is where our partner overextends this side arm. We're going to take our elbow back and trap it. Then we're going to move our body out to the side, straightening our inside leg, dropping our weight onto our shoulder, and setting our partner down behind us. If you leave your hips on the floor, dangerous. Now this is when your partner can start to work their legs and their second hand inside. So we're going to plant our feet on the floor, we're going to bring our hips up, and we're going to lock the figure of four. Now we're going to take our hips and we're going to put them on our partner so they're bearing our weight. We take the bottom leg across, and we make sure that when we land, we have our partner's hand glued to their hip or to the floor, not allowing that hand to pass to the other side where it's inside and on their belly. So we're gonna switch our base one, set our body through two, and you have your Kimura position. So we'll do one last time from the reverse angle. Essential that you capture the elbow for this rule. So he goes one, we go two back. Again, we're monitoring our choke partner's choking arm with the other hand. We bring our hips up, inside, and we take our partner through. Our hips come up, so the weight goes on the shoulder, we lock the figure of four. Then we back into our partner, take our inside leg over, and lay in the top position. Folding our partner's hand to the inside, knees go to the floor, sit your body through, big step over. Now you're in a position where you can start to finish your partner. The most common escapes out of turtle position usually involve rolling. Those are very high percentage escapes and good ways of going on the defensive. 
but especially if you see your partner's elbow through with that deep tight waist, it's a good chance for you to reach for Kimura, you can roll them through and end up on top in a strong position. Hopefully this was helpful, you enjoyed it, we'll see you soon.